Oh, that's right. I gotta plug in my headphones. Man, this animation is so cool. It's so Sonic CD. It's basically the cover of the Genesis Sonic in Japan. He saved the flickies! Alright. So, I got about an hour and a half before I have to go to work. So here's, here's the plan. I'm going to try to get supersonic by doing the old trick that I did in the Sonic 3 when I was a kid. And what that entails is going into the game, picking a, a thing that I've already cleared, like this one. And I have four Chaos Emeralds in this playthrough. So, wh wh what's the deal with the thing on the bottom? It looks like I got two lives, but I also got three lives? Maybe three continues? I don't know how that works, but whatever. So I'm just gonna just go through this. I'm gonna be Sonic CD because that's cool. I don't. I guess I never unlocked that. And Knuckles. Should I and Knuckles this? All right. So I'm gonna go through the first stage. I'm gonna find the giant ring and I'm gonna get the Chaos Emerald. And I think I have to complete the act for it to save. Oh, it's not responding. Does my old save not work? Uh-oh. Then I'll have to do- I'll have to think of a new plan then, shit. Oh, okay, there we go, okay. Oh. I mean, I know the game's been patched since I played it when it first came out, but I didn't know that. Alright, so now I gotta find a giant ring. Tails died already, that's pretty cool. Now I know I found a giant ring before on this on this stage. Why am I jumping on every spike? If I can't find it, I'll look up a map. I tried to look up a map before the stream, but there really weren't any good maps. At least from the ones I checked out in the beginning. Hmm. Alright, there's that. This looks like the end of the level, though. Oh, you... Oh, there we go. Aha! Alright, so I just gotta make it to this point really fast.
I might also have to retry these bonus levels a couple of times too, because a lot of them are a little tricky, especially the harder the Chaos Emeralds get. Where the hell do you go? It's like there's two paths. There's one so I can get the blue spheres so I can become faster, which I need at least Mach 3. Really? Time over? Oh, the rings! Alright, so that's what the rings do. Oh, okay. I didn't know. No, the rings were time. Does that also count the rings before I go into the bonus stage? Whoop! Yeah, all in save progress. So I can't just restart. I have to beat the level. Oh, damn. Oh, can you make it? No! Oh no, my rings! I guess I'll find out if, if it's the rings from the level that also count in the bonus level. If that's the case, I can collect, like, almost a hundred rings before I even get to the bonus level. What? Are oh, you... <laughs> oh, cheeky. I'm missing just three. I just gotta do three bonus levels. I mean, it was worse than Sonic and Knuckles. You had to get the Master Chaos Emeralds. Here, I just have to get seven Chaos Emeralds. As far as I know, I don't think there are any Master Chaos Emeralds. That was a little gimmicky, but... I don't think we'll ever see Hypersonic come back. I mean, Super Sonic's good enough. Is there, like, a spring over here? No. What? Stupid shield. There's a shield up there too. Alright, see, so I got 33 rings. Did that count for the bonus level? 30. I don't think it did. I think you just get 30 to begin with, so the bonus level is independent. cheat in this level. Oh, I meant, didn't get anything. Oh, the rings don't come back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. And you lose the rings when you get hit by shit, too. That sucks. Hmm. That means I'm gonna have to make a strategy. Oh, crap. It's not just going to be that easy. 
Okay, there's rings on that other path. Oh, look. Why do they give me a thing that makes me lose rings? Damn it. Oh, there's not enough time. That means I either need to prioritize getting the rings. I guess I'll prioritize the speed first until I'm at 10 seconds and I'll try to get rings. I gotta get at least one Chaos Emerald, come on. If it was the rings in the stage, man, I'd, I'd have plenty of time. Yep, just 30. Okay, so. much harder to collect those rings too when I get faster. Alright, there we go. And now I can just focus on rings. One, like, yeah, what does that power up do? Did I, did I lap him? Oh, there he is. catch up with this guy. Man, what? How do you beat this bonus level? Mm. I just wish I could just keep retrying it, though. It's just annoying. I could milk a single level if I just had like a decent map online. Like how come the magazines back in the 90s could give me a better map where all the chaos, um, not chaos, but all the rings are. Alright, so there's an invincibility over there, that'll help. Yeah. <laughs> 
Almost. Alright. Because of people? What's up, ball busting babe? I, I was like, I, I googled Sonic Mania maps to find a quick ways to get the rings. But it's like, they either are too small, so you can't see them, so you can't make them crap, or they don't show the rings, and it's like, I'm just gonna have to guess where they are? Alright, here we go. I have no idea how I'm gonna catch this UFO. See, he goes down this path, so Oh man. Maybe the strategy should be to actually, like, try to stay close to him. Because by going down the other paths to get the balls, I mean, I get a lot of balls, but then I lose, um... The UFO gains more momentum. Oh, you've been playing some Dragon Quest? Look how far he is, he's... I get bonuses, but I don't know what the hell they do. Ah! Oh, you can't just jump over that. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you beat Comic Zone? The Comic Zone to me is like a very peculiar game because you got to do everything like exactly as the developer wants But it's got those two endings where you don't save the girl and where you do save the girl At some point I'll tackle Comic Zone. I don't know when though I've fired it up a couple of times, but I never actually like not with the intent of beating it it's One of the few American produced Sega games that are actually good I remember Comic Zone was a big deal for the Nomad. The Sega handheld, they used that a lot to uh, showcase it. It, it. I guess it just never caught on as a series, you know, like, the main character never became a, a big thing. Ah. I'm not even gonna get that invincibility. So yeah, I've already failed this bonus level like three times. I I don't know. I think I'll I might have to look up a let's play on how to beat this bonus level. There are some noob traps. Ah. I think on my first run, go this way. Cause he's not that far off yet. How do I get the blue blue spheres? Shit. Oh my god, that sucks. Oh, you just have to know. Yeah, I'm starting to feel that here. <laughs> and I've already been at this for 20 minutes. I've got no chaos emerald. I've just been doing the same bonus stage, this aggravating bonus stage. Blue Spears wasn't even this hard in Sonic 3. That one, I mean, like, that one was kind of annoying, but once you memorized the level layout, you were fine. You just didn't have to hit any red spheres. Here, it's like... I mean, I guess it's better in that sense that it's an actual game, but it's just annoying to have to go through a level to go to find the giant ring. Now, there's probably three ri giant rings in every level. Maybe if I knew all the locations of them, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Or at least I think there's three. Th that was the case in Sonic 3. But I have no idea how to get this. 
Because it's not as simple as just getting all the blue spheres. That It was up until this point. Now it's become... Like, I gotta have a, um, a plan on the track. Because it's the, it's the alternating paths. So I'm gonna try to... My first lap, I'm gonna prioritize getting the spears. Because that's... I'm the slowest at that point. Though maybe the smarter thing would be to prioritize getting all the rings, right? Because they're easier to get when you're slow. But I was fast for a long time, and I didn't catch up to that guy, so... What does that do? That's what I want to know. Like, I don't know what that power-up does. Maybe that's the key. there it's so annoying like right on the ramp right, we're at Mach 3 that's as fast as I can go but I can't even see the UFO what what bounced me like what they put a bumper right in front of the ramp who does that I no, there's no way I can get that I got to bounce off the the ring power-ups I got nine seconds. I can't. That thing is so far ahead. Uh huh. There goes the time again. Great. Excellent. All right. I'm going to look up something right now because I feel like I, I do not have the solution and I'm not going to have it for a while on how to beat this bonus stage. No, that's the Blue Spheres ones. I want the, the rings. Hmm. I can't seem to find a decent guide. There, there's like a YouTube video. Nah, that's just that's just the crap bonus stage that I could care less about. Now, let me look at this. Cause I want to know like hey, how, how do you how do you pull this off? Which one am I on? I think I'm on the... Alright, so let's see now. Green, gold, blue, purple. So I'm past the purple one. So how does this guy beat it? Hmm. Oh, I gotta show it on screen, huh? Um, fuck. That might take too long to try and set it up so I can show you the video on screen. I'm just watching it right now. I'll put it at like double speed so I can check it out real fast. Um, it looks like he gets Mach 1 in the first lap. So he does, he does the alternate paths. I'm sorry that this is just me describing it again. It would take too long to try to set it up. I don't have much time.
No, he's definitely, yeah, okay, so he's prioritizing the spears. Like, big time. And then after he gets the spears, then he goes for the rings. I'm, I, he, he's not getting that power up, though. That's what you had to do for Fax Attitude. Fax Attitude is definitely one of those games you got to look at a guide or something to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, that thing is really far ahead, so I'm trying to... F oh, I see. He uses that to cut corners. Ah. All right, I get it now. You got to cut some corners in the, uh, in the track to even catch up to it. All right, okay. There was no way I was gonna get it uh, with my current strategy. But if I cut the corner in that, uh, once I get all the spheres and get Mach 3, if I cut the corner in this one part, I can catch up to it. Cause it goes the long way. So at least now we have a plan on how to approach this. I still have to do it though. <laughs> then again, the footage I saw, it, it wasn't like that precise either, so uh, there's there's definitely a chance. You don't you can make some mistakes and still get it. Hopefully the one after this one will be easier. But it'll probably be just as tricky, because it's not... Before it was just getting the spears, right? And then you get the spears, you basically win, right? But here it's like, you gotta sort of know the track a little bit better, too. Oh, damn. get a single one. So instead of going that way, we go this way. We can cut the corner a bit, see, and then we can catch up. So that's the secret. So that's why I was screwing it up. Um, once you get the full speed, go to the left in that part, and then you can easily make it. All right, now I gotta beat the level. Which is the first level in the game, so I should easily be able to beat it. What would be great is if I knew where a second ring was in the level, and then I could attempt the, uh, the next one. So in theory, I could do like two or three Chaos Emeralds per level. Oh, we gotta fight. 
fight a little boss? All right. Oh no! Ah. There you go, one's down. Alright. Just touch the sign. Oh, it just gives me the shield. Well, fine. Okay, so now that I beat the level, it should save. Yep, okay, so two more Chaos Emeralds. And this, this is how you do it in Sonic 3 as well. I mean, you could do it in the normal playthrough. When I was a kid, I, this is how I got all the Chaos Emeralds and became hypersonic and whatever, right? But um, later on, because I actually did all the uh, bonus levels before, I could just do it in one playthrough. So in other words, like I knew where the rings were, and I could probably get supersonic around, like, maybe the third world, or the third act, whatever you want to call it. Or the third level, I guess, because each level has acts. Like, I think it's two acts in Sonic 3. So around, like, the first act of the third level, I could probably get supersonic. I also had one of those, um, like, I could abuse the pause trick, you know, where you pause the game to make it go a little bit slower. That's, that's another way I did it. Especially that last one. That last one was really hard. Alright, let's see what this is all about. It's, it's green. Okay, this is already a weird-ass level. Alright, this one, I don't think there's a shortcut thing. I think this one is like, you just gotta be like... This is more like an F-Zero track, because you can fall off the map, so once I get stupidly fast... This one's gonna be pure racing, I think. Oh, dude, whoa, that was cheap! Did you see that? They put those rings out of bounds just to fuck with me. I was gonna get it, but I'm like, why bother? I, I gotta try and get to that ring as fast as I can. Sonic in the bonus stages controls better than Sonic and Sonic R, but it's not that much better. <laughs> I guess he's similar to the bonus stages in Sonic CD. Which are pointless, by the way. There's really no reason to do them. You don't get a better ending for doing them. You just get more lives, which, you know, I mean, like, yeah. It's a Sonic game. That's like giving me more lives in Mario 3. It's like, look, I already have, like, 50, 50 lives. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, I don't need that many lives. It's even worse in Mario. There's infinite continues. Like, who cares? You just gotta start the world over again. Big deal. I wonder if you can just cheat and get get across there, but I think the bumpers still like get you. Looks like there is a shortcut you can cut over there on the left. I'll, I might have to do that when I get Mach three. Oh, none of them. Damn. 
I'm going for those two rings, man. I'm, I'm doing it. Here we go. Oh, I got one of them. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Holy crap! I think I got plenty of time. Oh, thank God there was a bumper there. Jumping makes my turning a little bit sharper. Oh, fuck. All right, so you can kind of jump around there, and then if I jump on turns, I can turn just a little bit sharper. Not not great, but... That one, I think, is easier than the last one, though. That one's just straightforward. You just got to get fast and not fall off the track, which ain't too bad. So, after I beat... Um, after, hopefully I get this, all the Chaos Emeralds this stream. Next stream, I'll stream the game as Super Sonic. And I'll go through all the levels again. Because it's been like, what, like two years since I played this game? So I, I'd like to check out the levels again. And then we'll get the uh, real ending with the last level. Which I never beat the first time I played. Or the first time I streamed this, like what, like a year and a half ago, two years ago? But well, then we could say I've completed Sonic Mania, at least with Sonic. There's multiple characters, so who knows? There's always the ability to replay, and then there's the, um... The DLC, which I think is just two extra characters. I don't think the DLC really changes or adds any new levels. At least from what I saw. It adds, uh, Ray the Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo from the arcade game. Here we go. Ah, oh, man. Alright, there's a ring over there too. I can get that. Oh, damn. Oh, none. I didn't get any of it. Well, at least get the ring. And now we can focus on going fast. Oh god. Not too fast, fuck! I wonder if I can use the analogs. Would the analog stick matter? I can use it to control Sonic here, but yeah, it's just, it just doesn't really matter. It's still like a D-pad. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be like a D-pad than that, too.
Now I'm just trying to do it where I don't have to, like, ever stop. And it looks like it's working out. <laughs> Oh damn, that was a perfect run up until that butthole showed up, and then it would have been great. I never would have been hit, or never would have had to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna try to emphasize getting the, like, some of the rings when I'm slow. That one ring, though, on the shortcut, that one I'll have to get when I'm faster. When I actually take the shortcut. That one I should have got when I'm fast. Should have went for the blue balls. The blue spheres, I'm sorry, not the blue balls. Now we're good. Now it's kind of a problem because everything's so fast. Oh. I can't pick up the rings again. Cut some of these corners here. Oh, it's, it goes that far, damn. Some bumpers so I can use that to my advantage. Oh. Thank God. One more. One more and we're done. Still gotta beat the level though. Oh, let's go down here. Be extra sad though if I didn't beat the level. I got eight lives, there's no way. It's like, it's impossible. See how many hits I can get on him. Oh. I don't care. I'm just... There we go. Cool. Get over here. Yeah, perfect. Whee! Let's check out the last. The last one's gonna be the bit of the, the hardest one, man. Like, all right, it saved it. So, what straight hell is this bonus level gonna be like? I guess I can't call it a bonus level. It's a chaos level or chaos emerald level. Because there are bonus levels, which are just the blue sphere levels from Sonic 3. I don't know why I would do those, though. I guess you collect these Sonic coins, then you can use the Sonic coins to unlock something like, you know, artwork and shit like that. That's cool, I guess. I mean, if I was going for super 100% completion, but... I'm not that hardcore. I, I just want to get Super Sonic. <laughs> Maybe beat the game with every character and get their super forms if they have them. That was disappointing in Sonic 3 when you would like beat beat the game with Tails and get all the Chaos Emeralds and he does nothing. And then they kind of rectified that in Sonic and Knuckles when they make him Super Tails if you get all the the hyper Chaos Emeralds. Alright, let's see what the- oh my god, really? Well, this is trippy. 
I mean, they've all been trippy, but wow. So what's what's the deal with this level? I like how it's the pol polygonal birds and the fish from the bonus levels from Sonic 1. This one's gonna be a lot like the last one where it's not about like the shortcuts. It's more about um, not falling off the stupid track. Get the blue spheres in. There we go. Now we're fucked. Now it's insane. Ah! I could have just played it safe and went right to. I had plenty of time. I could have wasted time by not getting the spheres. To be fair, I kind of prefer it when it's like this than when it was like uh, with the other Chaos Ember where I was stuck on. Because this one, I can just get good at the track. There we go. Aw, oh, damn. All right, so if I jump off these two guys, uh, do I make it on the ledge? Yes. Oh, but it, ah. <laughs> I did it again. Oh, it disappeared big. I might actually die now. Not, yeah, that's, that's some 90s shit right there. Remember that? Remember when people said not? Man, that was annoying. I was so fucking annoying. I'm so glad that's not a thing. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. There's just rings up there, like I'm gonna go up there. Worth it. No, fuck. All right. I gotta drink more energy drink. I gotta, gotta get my head in the game. Got one more, one more chaos emerald. All I gotta do is get it. It's right there for the taking. Like Sonic games are easy, man. You just hold right, and then you win. That's what you do. You just hold right, and you win. You just, just show easy. All right. I think that was invincibility too, but. All right. Here we go. Jason, 
That's the comment. She's like, why did you get him in the first try? Easy game. Games for babies, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Thank God. I just gotta beat the level now. Now Sonic can be Super Sonic. He does the thumb pose from Dragon Ball like, I am Super Sonic. <laughs> it would be easy to say. <laughs> oh, hey, speaking of Super Sonic, let's do it. Oh, wait, it's a different button. It's Y. Check this. I can actually just double jump now. Wow, okay. Fuck it! Yeah! Bam! <laughs> Woo! The music changes! Well, you think you're matched with Super Sonic? No, I don't think so. Super Sonic wins. Ugh. <laughs> And now begins the supersonic run through. I got about 20 minutes. Oh, uh, I lose my rings. Now I need some chili dogs. Whee! I don't care what anyone says, man. Urkel will always be the voice of Sonic to me. And get a little one up. Oh crap, why? Come on, hurry up before he comes back. Thank you. See, what I like about Super Sonic is he's OP as shit. But at the same time, he's, he's a great reward for getting all the Chaos Emeralds. And unlike, you know, other Sonic games where you don't get to play, you, you know, you get all the Chaos Emeralds, but all it does is unlock an extra stage where you play as Super Sonic. <laughs> oh, damn. Those tails, he's, he's all tired. Tuckered out. Alright, so now... If I get that ring, I just get 50 rings. BAM! Yeah, no match now! So fast! Then he gets the properties of the shield too. Electric shield's the best one with supersonic. Woo! Oh, what is this? Am I supposed to be afraid? Hmm? <laughs> no, <Homer. laughs> Woo! I saved all the flickies. You know what the best animal in Sonic is, though, that you save? It's Cucky. Because his name is Cucky. He's a <laughs> bad. He's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, all the animals have names somehow. Try to figure out how that works. 
Now, Flicky, he's probably the most famous one because he actually had a video game before Sonic. He was an arcade game. The Sonic. Back when Sega had a million mascots, you know, it had like Opa Opa. Oh. Hey Tails, get over here. Yeah, what's up here? Oh, one up. All right, I'll take it. That's what I don't like about 3D Sonics. It's like, why why are there people in Sonic, you know? Like, it should be his little animal buddies that he saves. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of, oh, that's a bubble shield too. Oh man, I could have got that. Could have got the bubble shield, now we're fucked. Now we're dead. Oh, thank God. What falling animations do I have? Let's see. So he's got like... He just has one? He doesn't have two? Like in Sonic 3? Oh, he's got this, if you're backwards. But he doesn't have the, like, the one where he's really out of control. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Tails is just looking at it like, what are you doing, Sonic? Oh man! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh! oh no, okay, all right. And these underwater physics. I like how I've taken this path that I've never taken before in this level. Oh my god! Shit! Oh no, 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 so close! No, we're, we're doing it. Woo! Get up there! Crap. Oh wait, 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 we have tails. Ah, damn it, tails! Get back here. All right. T Tails has to get up here, though. For me to do this. If he ever gets up here, I'm just gonna go over here. Come on, Tails! Come on, Tails! Oh, my. All right, we'll see. Maybe we can do it from here. All right, Tails, now you just grab me. Grab me, Tails! Come on! There we go, okay. Oh, now you're tired? What? Oh, God. It's such a hard maneuver. There we go. Per beautiful. All right, perfect execution. Damn it, I thought I avoided this. That was my whole plan, was to avoid this one part, but I, I don't know how to avoid it. I know you can. there with the collapsing platforms that is such a trap
And you'd think I would have learned from like 20, 30 years about that, like I remember that, but no. It gets me almost every time. away. That's what Sonic's thinking. Oh, it doesn't matter. We got to fight the boss. All right, cool. Get the hits in. Just get the hits in. We kill it. There you go. <laughs> Why fuck around? I don't care about the points. Who cares about points? I do like the philosophy of Sonic Mania, where you take a level that, you know, I mean, like, because the big complaint about Sonic Mania was that it recycled a lot of levels in design, but Act 1 would be like the old school level, and then Act 2 would be the redesign. Like a different spin on it, and I kind of like that. I mean, it's nostalgic and new at the same time. What the? Wah! No, this kind of level is not good for supersonic, but I don't care! Oh, yeah! Up. Oh, that bubble shield. Yeah, let's get that. You know, in Sonic, uh, what, what's it called? In Sonic 3, Super Sonic had a double air dash. Maybe if I select not Sonic CD, he'll have that. Cause that, or maybe I'm thinking of hypersonic. Maybe I should, I wonder if Sonic Super Sonic's physics change or his abilities change if I pick Sonic Mania instead of Sonic CD. I might try that out next time. That'd be kind of cool. Because I, I do miss his, uh, his, like, burst of speed that he would get, but that might, I might be thinking of Hypersonic. Can I break these? I guess only Knuckles can. I remember when I was a kid and I found out about Supersonic and Sonic 2. I just became obsessed with it. I was like, I gotta become supersonic. And I wasn't good enough to do the bonus levels when I was a kid, right? So what I did was, uh, Blockbuster gave me, you know, the game would come with like a cheat card. And on the cheat card, it showed the debug menu or how to access it. And I would access the debug menu and then I could transform into supersonic. You just get the supersonic monitor and then you spawn it and then you uh, break it and then you're supersonic. And I would do that all the time. It wasn't until I was, like, a little bit older, like, preteen, when I started to actually get supersonic. I also think in Sonic 2, you can't beat the last level as supersonic. You have to beat it as normal Sonic. There's not enough rings to transform into supersonic, because supersonic takes 50 rings, and, it, and you have to keep collecting rings, because... He uses up all the ring powers, so the ring counter goes down by one. So every ring you get adds a second. So in that sense, not only is he a great reward, but he's also a pretty good balance of really speeding through the levels, because you want to get... 
Like, you want to get all the rings. Oh, wait, can I even do... Nah. To keep him at, like, powered up. I'm going for a massive combo. I'm setting it up. That wasn't it. I, that's another one, but I'm going to hit him with another. So, I always thought Sega owned Puyo Puyo because they, they published a lot of the arcade games, but there is a Puyo Puyo game on the Super Nintendo. And that's what this is. This is Puyo Puyo. They just, um, when they came to the States, they rebranded it uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Which I did beat on the Game Gear, but I want to try to beat it on the, um, the what's it called? The Genesis, because it's probably harder. Being that it's, you know, the Genesis has more processing power, so the last boss must be insane when it comes to, like, how fast because, like, on the highest difficulty, you're basically always going full speed with the drop of the beans. See, I can't... Oh, I did... Oh, damn it. I can't do that thing where I make Sonic, like, look like he's falling off the thing, because he jumps whenever I uh, beat a level. And he does his finger wag pose. Where it's like, you can't catch me, motherfucker! Yeah, let's go, let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, a spring. Oh, that gets me up here. So, you know, this level reminds me a lot of, like, Pulse Man. And a lot of those Genesis games, like, um... You know, like, Ristar and stuff like that. I don't know why. Speaking of which, I gotta play Ristar, like... I know Ristar never made it too big. But he's made by the same guy that did Sonic. And he only has one game. And it's really not his fault his game didn't sell that well. It's, it's mainly because... When Ristar came out, it was, like, near the end of the Genesis, so... Kind of the same thing with Comic Zone. It came out like near the end, so that's why he's not a established franchise, as it were. Another goal would be like Dynamite Hitty. Popcorn machine. Woo! Wait, I want to see. Oh no! Am I sup supersonic? No, no. No, I, I hate these. Alright, well, what was this? Oh yeah, he's all like old school cartoon. He's all cuphead animation now. I do like the separate button to transform into supersonic. That is pretty neat. Does he have an idle animation? Let's see. I mean, because you gotta figure supersonic would be even more impatient. He's like, look, I'm supersonic and you're just gonna make me stand here? Oh, he's got like a power-up thing. I like how on Sonic CD, Sonic will just quit the game if you just stand there for like two minutes. He'll just say, fuck this, and he'll jump off screen. He's like, well, if you don't want to play the game, I'm just leaving. I don't got time for your shit. <laughs> See, but this Supersonic does hypersonic shit. Like, he's got the, um... 
He's got the shadows behind him and he does the spark. D balls are in the mind. Oh, no, he's, he's already found the D balls. He's found the Chaos Emeralds. That's the Sonic trope. Look at this. I don't even have to do shit. Just run forward. Whee! I'm faster than the screen. I create little Sonic moves. Next time I stream this, I'll, I'll stream this tomorrow, hopefully. I got tomorrow off, so... I'll, I'll see if I can, like, if Sonic has different abilities in Sonic Mania mode or, like, Sonic and Knuckles mode. Because I want, I want him to have that air dash that he has, or the double air jump. I think it was cool. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to work tonight either. I gotta leave in like eight minutes. Maybe I can beat one more level. Look at that. Oh, I got 34 seconds left of Super Sonic. Can I do it? The dee 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 dee. You're working tomorrow. Oh, that sucks. See, I was gonna stream yesterday, but I was at work for like 10 hours. We had a call in. So I just used that extra time to sleep when I got home. Right, now we're back to normal Sonic. Yeah! All right, so that's act one of Studiopolis. Okay, so I'm gonna quit out. I want to see if I can turn into Super Sonic in Mania mode and see if he's got any extra abilities. Because, you know, right now I'm Sonic CD, so I can do this shit. Hey, okay, what level was I on? Oh, I can select the world, but not the level. Or not the act in the world. So I have to do Studioopolis again, all right. Here, let's have Ann Knuckles, sure, why not, right? Ann Knuckles, here, here we go, let's Ann Knuckles this. Sonic, Tails, Ann Knuckles. So does that mean that Knuckles is, oh, hey, Knuckles! It's just Sonic and Knuckles, it's not Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, huh? What's up, Knuckles? Oh, you can glide? That That's really not helpful to me at all, unlike Tails. It's like, <laughs> what? See now, uh, Sonic Mania, his animation, his top speed animation is different, he can't peel out, but he can do this thing where he uh, spin dashes in air. So that's his special. I kind of like how Knuckles' glide is working like Tails' uh, flight. Alright, let's see if I can get 50 rings. Okay. I also thought that giving Sonic different shields and different abilities while he has the shield was really cool. That's what made Sonic 3 awesome. Alright, here we go. Alright, and Knuckles! No, he doesn't have it. Oh shit, he does! What the hell? I gotta I gotta get on a normal part of the level. Stop activating the thing, Knuckles! Alright, okay, here we go. Oh no, he has a super spin dash. Okay. Wait, does that mean that Sonic CD had a super peel out? Okay, so he doesn't have his double jump, but he's got the spin dash. All right, all right, you know what? I'm testing this shit out now. I want to see the difference between all the supersonics. We're gonna use the first level because it's so easy for me to get the thing. We're turning off and Knuckles because that's dumb. All right, so I want to see what Sonic 3 and Knuckles is like. So normally that means he has like the reflex shield when I do a double jump. Yeah, he has this. It'll reflect projectiles. That's kind of it. He doesn't have the up spin out.
No, no, no! Bam! Alright, does he have the double jump? No, he doesn't. Ah! He's got this gold spark around him, though. That's new. Yeah, he doesn't have the, the double... Man, that thing was so awesome in Sonic 3. He just gets, like, a little gold sparkle. So has the spin dash. No, no other new abilities, so not... Sonic and Knuckles 3 is not the best Sonic to use in this game. My opinion. Sonic CD, though. Let me test out if I can do the burnout while I'm super Sonic. I didn't do that last time. So Sonic CD, his main thing is he can do this. Which makes him cool, so... And that's why I prefer him over Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania has the drop dash. Though that's pretty neat when you're Super Sonic. The peel out is not... If, if I can do the peel out as Super Sonic, it's still not as useful because... Super Sonic goes so fast, like he... His acceleration is pretty good and his top speed's faster. Oh, there's my alarm for work. No, no, this is important. We need to, we need to know if Super Sonic can do the peel out. Because I might switch to Sonic Mania for Super Sonic. Right, here we go. Oh, he can! He can do the peel out. So he can just immediately reach top speed. Which is still pretty good. Uh, like, look at all his animations. There's his duck. Does he have a uh, animation where he's kind of falling off the thing? No, he's... Oh, look at that! He's too cool to stumble! He's like, fuck that. I'll just, I'll look like this. Does he have a backwards one? No, he just has a forwards one. But still, no Sonic 3 instant burst of speed. If that was the case, Sonic 3 would be the best one. Woo! All right, I'm, I'm torn on this. I guess I'll think about it at work, which Super Sonic I'll play as tomorrow. Hey, I get 100 rings, yeah. Get my Sonic 1-up. Sonic Shield. Woo! Easy. Alright guys, I gotta go to work. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching me play Super Sonic. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there will be a whole Super Sonic playthrough of this game. Hopefully tomorrow night. Uh, possibly really late at night because I plan on sleeping in so I might not wake up till like 1 but we'll see maybe I'll do it like earlier oh but yeah I gotta get ready hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow have a good one guys oh and check out the YouTube um, I have a let's play of Sonic Mania from like two years ago so that's the prequel to this and then you can check out the uh what like how I got to this and then uh, hopefully this will be like part three of that playthrough I've continued to play through from like two years ago <laughs> All right guys have a good one